All right. <clears throat> Picking Vegas and beyond. So, I wasn't planning on recording anything else today. It's the same day that I recorded six, no, seven other videos today already. And then I was watching another reseller's videos. And in the comments, there's people saying all this shit about daily refinement. <clears throat> About how it's not his fault that he was banned. That it's eBay's fault. It's somehow, I guess, somehow uh, eBay and this person's delusional little brain. eBay must have been the one who was doing all this shady shit. Selling all these shoes that he had no way of... Proving where the hell they came from for a minimum of 25 grand a pop, but it wasn't Daily Refinement doing all the shady shit, it was eBay all along, people. Good God. It is not eBay's fault that Daily Refinement did stupid shit that got himself banned from eBay. It's his fault. He's the one did it. Stop crying about it. I've never seen so many people whine, complain, and cry just because one random person on the fucking internet got banned from eBay. He is not a fucking celebrity. He's just a guy on YouTube. Just like every other YouTuber. is not a fucking celebrity. We're just people on the internet who make videos and put, post them on YouTube. That's all it is. We're not fucking celebrities. None of us are. I don't give a fuck how many fucking subscribers you have. You're just a person making videos, putting them on the internet. That's all you are. You're not special. And for people to think... That just because he has a hundred whatever fucking thousand subscribers, that makes him special and makes him somehow better than every other reseller. Despite the fact that he's telling his all of you who worship him to do one thing while he's doing another. You don't think that's just a tad bit fucked up? That's the problem I have. All of you morons are worshipping this guy while he was telling you to do one thing and he's in the background doing something completely different. Sorry about the glare. I don't know what's doing that. I don't know. <laughs> but that's the thing I... That's the problem I have. He preaches one thing while he does another. He teaches all you new people, all you want to be resellers, to do one thing and he does a completely different thing. But yet you worship him, worship him like he's fucking God. He's just a guy who makes videos and posts them on YouTube. Just like every other YouTuber. None of us are fucking special. None of us are in any way, shape, or form better than any other. And we all have rules we have to follow. He obviously did something that was bad enough for eBay to ban him. So as far as I'm concerned, he did something that was bad enough to get banned, so he deserves it. Simple as that. People need to stop trying to pretend like he's fucking god of all resellers. He's not. He did a bunch of shady shit, apparently, and got himself banned. But yet people want to worship him. People want to keep wasting their money on basic information that he peddles to people that apparently are too lazy to figure out all that themselves because all you would have to do is watch 
a video or Google it. But you want to waste your money. <laughs> I don't understand people. You want to whine and complain and blame eBay for banning someone who they felt deserved it. If he did something that was so bad that eBay determined he deserved to be banned, then he got what he deserved. We all have to follow the same rules. If I was to get banned tomorrow, I would make a video saying, hey, I got banned. And I would explain why. If I was doing shady shit, which I'm not. But I know I'm not going to get banned because I'm not doing stupid shit. The whole point of this is stop worshiping someone and trying to pretend like they're something that they're not. And stop fucking trying to put them up on a pedestal and say that they don't have to follow the same rules as everyone else. Yeah, he was promoting eBay. Who gives a shit? Really? People are using that as an excuse for him to be reinstated. Oh, go to eBay and tell them that if they reinstate your account, you'll make whatever promotion videos or whatever the fuck bullshit. They can promote themselves. They don't need him. Or any other YouTuber, for that matter. eBay could... Put it this way. eBay could ban every single one of us resellers that's on YouTube right now that sell on eBay, and they still would be just fine. They don't need any of us. We need them. We need their platform. It's not the other way around. I think it's time... Want to be resellers and resellers who are making content on YouTube? Figure that part out about every platform. We need their platform. They don't need us. 